Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo, Configuring Multi-Machine Blueprints. In a previous video, we demonstrated how to configure single machine blueprints. This demonstration will focus on creating blueprints that can be used to build application stacks or complete labs all from within a single request. It is important to know that these multi-machine blueprints are extensions to the single machine blueprints, so prior knowledge of working with single machine blueprints is required. Please refer to the video on configuring single machine blueprints for more information. We will first log on to the vCloud Automation Center as an enterprise administrator. As the administrator, we will walk through the steps required to configure a multi-machine blueprint. The steps are broken down into five tabs within the UI. We will focus on the steps that are unique to the multi-machine blueprint creation process. Once the blueprint is created, we will then log into the self-service portal and see that our newly created blueprint is available for our users. Multi-machine management is new in the vCloud Automation Center 5.1 release. A multi-machine service is a compound service composed of multiple machines yet provisioned and managed as a single entity. The most common example is a multi-tier application consisting of a web, application, and database servers all interacting to deliver a common service or application. Although this is the most typical example, a multi-machine service can be any combination of virtual, physical, or public cloud machines that need to be provisioned and managed as a single entity. During the request process, the user can request a variable number of machines of each type or adjust the CPU, memory, and storage resources within the min-max thresholds defined by the administrator. As part of the provisioning of a multi-machine service, each machine is configured as well as the interaction between the machines. These machines can be managed as a single entity, but note the individual machines can still be managed separately if needed. The overall benefit is to streamline the provisioning and ongoing management of multiple machines within and or across multiple platforms. Let's log into the vCloud Automation Center as an enterprise administrator who is responsible for creating and managing global blueprints for their organization. For the video on creating single machine blueprints, we are logged on as a group manager. A group manager is only able to configure blueprints for their group. As an enterprise administrator, we can create global blueprints that can be shared across provisioning groups. Let's go ahead and select global blueprints. From the global blueprints page, select new blueprint. Under new blueprint, we will select multi-machine blueprint for this demo. When creating multi-machine blueprints within the vCloud Automation Center, you are defining the full lifecycle management of those resources. To simplify the process, the blueprint creation is broken up into five tabs. Each tab will guide you through the creation process. The first tab, Blueprint Information, is used to provide general characteristics about the resource. For our demo, we will configure a build automation test, which will consist of a web server, app server, and database server. Let's start to configure our blueprint. The name and description fields will be visible to the end user, so it's important to provide clear and descriptive information. Let's go ahead and choose our icon for this request. Since we have elected to create a global blueprint, we will share this blueprint across both the development and production groups. The remaining fields in this tab are all similar to the creation of a single machine blueprint. So we will quickly populate the fields we choose to use. Since we have already defined the cost of the individual machines, we will not define cost here. The build information tab is where the majority of the differences exist between single and multi-machine blueprints. For single machine blueprints, this is where you specify how the machine will be built and what are the configurable parameters. For multi-machine blueprints, this is where we select which single machine blueprints will this multi-machine blueprint contain. As we select each blueprint, we will also be able to specify the number of machines of each type that will be allowed, as well as the startup and shutdown order. Let's go ahead and select our blueprints. Our build stack will consist of a web server, an application server, and a SQL database server. Let's go ahead and select those.
Now, once we have selected our blueprints, we can specify the minimum and maximum number of each machine allowed. If we specify a range, the user can select from within this range during request time. Let's go ahead and select and modify these. We will allow between one and four web servers, and the startup order will be three, and the shutdown order will be one. For our SQL, we will allow between one and two servers, and our startup order will be one, and our shutdown will be three. For our app, we will go with one, and we will allow up to two servers, and our startup and shutdown order will be two. Now just like with our single machine blueprints, we can specify a lease period for this resource. Let's go ahead and select and give our users the option between 30 and 90 days. The scripting tab is unique for multi-machine blueprints. This is where you would specify policies that can be defined to orchestrate the coordination of the different components that make up the multi-machine service. This may be the startup or shutdown process, as well as the scripts or workflows that can be used to configure the interaction between the component machines. Refer to the operations guide for more information around custom scripting and workflows. The Properties tab is where administrators can select predefined custom properties called build profiles or define new custom properties for this resource. Like any system or network object, a machine is defined by a number of properties. Examples include the machine's architecture and operating system and the size of its memory and disk. Some properties are reserved by the vCloud Automation Center with a full listing available in the Operations Guide. Other custom properties can be created and specified by the administrator. All custom properties are available throughout the life cycle of the resource. Just like with single machine blueprints, the security tab contains the blueprints access settings. We will allow all users in the appropriate groups to access this blueprint and we will give the users full management over the multi-machine service. At this time, we have completed the configuration of our multi-machine blueprint. To save our settings, we will select OK. Our newly created multi-machine blueprint is now displayed in our blueprint list. Finally, let's log into the vCloud Automation Center and see our newly created blueprint from within the self-service portal. Our developer now has access to the newly created multi-machine service. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available. Thank you.